What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and overall performance when playing Eternal Return Black Survival on a low-end PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, we will take a look at your in-game settings. Open up your settings and here in the video tab, make sure to set the display mode to full screen and your resolution to your native monitor resolution. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Make sure to set your graphics preset according to your system specs. Follow NPCs, use low and play a few minutes to see what works best for you. As your FPS cap, make sure to use a value above your screen's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get in order to save some valuable resources. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the Processes tab, right-click Eternal Return and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the EternalReturn.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click it and set the priority to High. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. Make sure to only end the programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. You can now close the game and exit out of a Task Manager. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up your Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the Recording option. And in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. When this is done, right-click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. You can do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Here, navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Eternal Return from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. When this is done, search for graphic settings and open up your graphic system settings. On this window, select Browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Eternal Return. Make sure to select the Eternal Return application and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Next, I suggest deleting your temporary files, as these can induce lag if your hard drive is cluttered. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.